Hi everyone, if you are new to my channel, my name is Charlie and today we are going to be talking trash. All of the trash that I used up this month, all the products I've used up, things that I have been loving. I absolutely love when I am able to use up a product. It just is such a good feeling. It means I got my money's worth and we have a lot of stuff to talk about. So if you are new to my channel, like I said, my name is Charlie. I love doing lifestyle, plus size fashion, affordable fashion, anything that might entertain you or help you at the end of the day. So if that sounds interesting, I would love you to stick around and subscribe. And I will also link my social media for you down below. My TikTok, I do a lot of quick and easy little outfits of the days, fashion hacks, things like that. So if that would interest you, I will link that for you down below. So let's get started. I love these types of YouTube videos, like bringing it back to the old school feels where you do your favorites, your monthly empties, what's in my purses. Those are some of my favorite videos. I know they're not popular right now, but I wanna stick true to like who I am and that's what I love. So let's get on to the products that I used up this month. I'm not gonna do this in any particular order. I have a trash bag here. I'm just ready to get rid of these products. I've been looking at them for too long and my husband always asks me why I keep them and I try to tell him and he just never, he asks me every month, why do I have trash? And he knows every month it's for my favorites. I'm just gonna pick out of the pile. I'm not gonna do it in any sort of order. I'm just gonna tell you if I loved it, how long it took me to use it up and we move on and if I would repurchase it. So the very first thing that I'm gonna show you is uh, Saturday Skin Waterfall Glacier Water Cream. Um, I used almost every drop of it. it. Took me a long time to use this product and I'll tell you why. It was extremely sticky, okay? It's a moisturizer. Um, I never felt like it worked as a moisturizer and it always left me so sticky that I always had to add an additional moisturizer with it, whether that was my facial oil, whatever. When I use a moisturizer, I want it to moisturize my skin. I do not want to feel sticky and I feel like I did and that was why I would probably not repurchase this one. Unfortunately, I don't know why they make them so sticky. I don't know what um, the purpose of it being so sticky is so maybe you could let me know but I would pass on this again it's a Saturday skin waterfall glacier water cream it's very light so if that's what you're looking for maybe give it a chance but if you need like a deep moisturizer like I like that was a fail for me like I said I'm just gonna pull from the top this is something that I have put in so many of my favorites and I'm so sad to see it go I'm hoping to maybe find another one from TJ Maxx and this is the um, she Aromatherapy Milk and Honey Body Moisturizer. This was so, so thick. It was only $4.99. It had such a very faint smell of like milk and honey almost, but it was inoffensive. This was a beautiful body cream. It got me through the entire winter last year. I loved it and I hope to find this again. This is amazing. I highly recommend it. If you see this in store, pick it up. It was the most thickest emollient, like, it just made me feel moisturized, but it didn't leave me sticky. That's where I have like such an issue is with feeling sticky. I love this. I feel like it layered beautifully with anything I was wearing or anything I washed with. 100% sad to see this go, but I'm glad I used it up. Amazing. And I will be keeping an eye out for it at TJ Maxx. <clears throat> okay, so this next body wash, I just picked it up on a whim. So I go between Olay and Dove. I've said it every video. I love it. These are the two body products that I never kind of switch up. I only really like Olay and Dove. So this one was in Notes of Star Apple and Hibiscus. You guys, the smell of this is out of this world. Oh goodness, it's dirty. It is out of this world. I'm not somebody who likes the scent of apple. I'm very, very picky when it comes to apple. Sometimes it makes me have a headache. This one is so clean. I don't know what it's... Just give it a smell, 10 out of 10. I've already repurchased this and have a full bottle. I love it. It is so thick and moisturizing. I absolutely love this. Again, it's the Notes of Star Apple and Hibiscus. It's so sweet and florally. florally. I love it and it lingers. It, the, it When I take a shower, my whole bedroom, my whole bathroom smells like it. And I only use a little bit and it is so, so good. I love this stuff. Um, one of the Dove products I used up, I raved about this all summer long. It's their Summer Care Grapefruit and Lemon. If you can still get your hands on this, I would give it a try. This was my favorite body wash all summer long. 
so sad to see it go. Hopefully they bring it back next year. But if you happen to see it, this is the best um, sweet grapefruit smell I've ever sent scented, ever smelt. And I recommend it highly. This was a 10 out of 10 best scent so far Dove has come out with. One of my favorites. And I hope to still find it in store. But if not, I have my apple and hibiscus that I love. Um, right off the top here, some warmers that I used up. I just have used up my cinnamon, spicy cinnamon stick. I have a whole video on how to make your house smell delicious for fall on a budget. And if it does well, like I said, I will do every one like new ones that i find warm apple pie i used up and i finally used this up from last year this is the spearmint one that i was talking about it's smear spearmint and vanilla you guys it's incredible it is so incredible i hope they bring it back for christmas i love their christmas scents um a hand soap that i used up is just the dial it's the floral one. I don't know the name of it. It's the one that's white and it's floral. I stopped buying Bath and Body Works. I think they're too uh, expensive for body, not body wash. I stopped buying Bath and Body Works because I felt they were way too pricey for hand soap. And with everything going on, we were, re we were using much more hand soap than we ever had before. And I found that Dial or the antibacterial ones, they're affordable. And I just decided that's what's best. And they smell just as good especially the foam pumping one and they last quite a while so i love these i keep one in every bathroom and one in my kitchen um at first it took me a long time to use these up and i still have like a little bit of this conditioner i would pass i just at first i liked it but i just have found some that were better this is the hask coconut oil manoya coconut oil moisturizing shampoo and conditioner um it was okay. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. They were on sale. That's why I picked them up. But I really love like herbal essences. I know they're not good for you. I love Dove shampoo. I know it's not good for you. That one is good if you um, are looking for like no parabens, no sulfates, things like that. And you need something affordable. They really weren't that bad. Honey, get down. You can't, you can't keep interrupting. You need to get down. Um, I used up one of my brow stylists. I go through one probably every four weeks i love these over the anastasia beverly hills no honey no this is the l'oreal brow stylus in dark brunette it's my tried and true you can get them on amazon for like seven bucks i love them so this was bought on a whim for my daughter i bought her the saint ives coconut water and orchard she really likes the scent of like beachy smells so i picked this one up because it was relatively affordable she's young when they're young and they go through body wash as fast as they do i try to find some that are still moisturizing good and affordable she ended up not caring for the scent of this so i ended up using it up and i used it in combination with my other body washes and i really liked it for four dollars it's not bad I really recommend this St. Ives body wash and I would probably repurchase it even for myself. It's not as moisturizing as I need. So what I would do is use this in with my moisturizing body washes. I would do this as like a pre-wash and then go in with my actual body wash. I like to do that in the summertime, double cleanse with like a cheaper soap, a body, like a bar soap or something cheap like this and then go in with my moisturizing and my smell good stuff to really smell good and moisturize my body. But I really recommend this. It wasn't bad and it was really, really affordable. And I think they had three or four cents. This one again is the coconut water and orchard and I really liked it. Of course, I used up another one of these snuggles. I know they're not good for your laundry. I know they're bad for you, but I love it. I associate scent with feeling good. I will buy anything from Snuggle unless it's lavender. I don't like lavender. This one is just the Sea Breeze. This is a great one. It lingers. My Every time I open up my linen closet, you can smell it. This is one of my favorites. I prefer to buy the big one just because I do quite a bit of laundry because my husband works outdoors and he's always dirty. So never to run out of laundry, like detergents and soaps and stuff, but this is the first time that I have and I desperately need to get to the store. This was something I recently tried. So I've tried all different types of cleaners. I the pink stuff, I don't like it. It leaves like a gritty, if you don't clean it off really well, it leaves it like gritty and you can see the residue. Um, I've tried the green stuff, I've tried uh, natural, I've done vinegar, 
and I picked this up on a whim one because they can buy you can buy like the refills and I already have and I love the smell of this one this is in the again original and this is great this has cleaned my stove amazingly my toilets it's like a multi-purpose cleaner I love it I love the atomizer because it like either does like this long mist or it does a little spritz I really like it I know it's a little pricey but it lasted me quite a while because you just need a little bit because it really really is that deep cleaning mist and i love it and i recommend it and it smells very good just like gains so sad to see it go because this is some of my favorite i always pick these up at tj maxx and marshall's they're so affordable there and i usually buy the big one i have two upstairs that are almost to the end this is my lifeline <laughs> you guys so it's just the dry shampoo batiste i have tried not your mother's i've tried the Psst brand i have tried off brands i've tried expensive brands and i always go back to this one it's affordable this one was 4.99 but the big giant bottle is 8.99 if you buy it retail it's a little more pricey this is my lifeline you guys i could not imagine not having this i don't wash my hair all the time i try to do maybe two washes a week one wash a week depending if I didn't have this, I don't know what I would do. It gives me volume. It makes my hair look nice. I love it. Whoops. My hair is freshly washed today, so I didn't need to use it. This one's just in the coconut and exotic tropic. They have them all kinds of different scents. Original. They have one that's like sexy and spicy, floral, cherry, anything you can think of they have. This is a great, great dry shampoo. And they even have it for brunettes. Just be careful because it is messy. When I was a brunette, I used to use it years and years and years ago my sister uses it it is a little messy so i have a couple more wax melts another cinnamon spice or a spicy cinnamon stick i'm telling you this is the best cinnamon scented warmer here's that bergamot and frozen mint and bergamot that i was talking about this one is incredible like i said i love the scent of mint or spearmint it is so so good sorry if you hear little tippy taps that's my chihuahua he just is very very nosy and likes to tip tap through the house and look out the window so that's might be what you're hearing honey it's just selling on the lawn get down bud um absolutely repurchasing my favorite scent for fall and it's rose and sandalwood again i'll link in the cards these videos where i tell you what you should buy right now and another warm apple pie you guys this rose and sandalwood is the most fabulous scent i have ever smelled amazing 10 out of 10 will repurchase it every time i'm there i ended up going through the easy squeeze dawn soap so there's a couple things in life that i'll cut corners with and then there's some things that i feel like you shouldn't when it comes to like household products there's some stuff like i said you can get away with buying generic brands and then i feel like there's some stuff that you really really should just pay the extra few dollars Anytime I buy Gain or Ajax, I go through the bottle in weeks, in a couple weeks. When I use Dawn, it just seems to last months. I'll use this, like sometimes I'll hand wash dishes if I just don't feel like running the dishwasher. I know it's more water that way, but sometimes I don't have enough for a full load. This will, I can do two squirts and have the whole dishes done. It's so much more i don't know how to explain it It just lasts a lot longer than the gain and the ajax and whatever off brand i prefer to spend the extra few dollars for the dawn i think it's amazing i wash my dogs with it it has killed fleas when we had fleas one year this is a great product i love the little ducky this is amazing i love the dawn dish soap and i highly recommend it i usually just buy the original i saw this one i love this it is spill proof look how clean it is i didn't rinse this off or anything I recommend if you can find these like upside down ones, amazing. I have one sitting on my sink right now, 10 out of 10. Like I said, toilet paper, paper towels, certain things like I don't mind off brand paper towels. I'm gonna tell you the weirdest thing. My husband brought me home a big pack from uh, Home Depot. They're not my favorite anymore. All these has these thick, huge paper towels and they're so affordable and I love them from Aldi's. I just buy a big giant pack for like seven bucks. They're amazing and they last me months and months and months. So I've passed on that. Um, so like I thought, let me try 
the Home Depot brand. Uh, I love Home Depot, by the way, you guys. I ask for Home Depot gift cards for birthdays or Lowe's. I'm like a freak about it. I love Home Depot and I love Lowe's. I love any stores. I like Tractor Supply. I don't know why. But I wanted to try Home Depot's like generic brand of Lysol or um, Clorox wipes. They're garbage shit i hate them so it's just certain things that i like are trial and error where i don't mind going the generic route but there's some things i feel like you just need the name brand you know what i mean and i feel like that's one of them i used up another dove body wash this is the mango and almond butter now i used to love this i used to crave this scent i bought the lotion i bought everything the shampoo and conditioner but it almost has become too sweet for me and I have to kind of pass on it. If you like mango though, you guys, you are gonna be in love. It's gonna make you wanna eat it, drool. It's amazing. And I loved it at first, but I've noticed that anything artificial mango, whether it's food, like artificial drinks that taste like mango, anything that smells like mango, I just don't like. But the thing is, I love actual mangoes. This is amazing. It's an amazing body wash. It is so, so moisturizing. I just can't do the scent anymore. Speaking of which, I should have just put this with the other one. This is what I mean by this one is the Gain in Honeyberry Hula scent. While it smells great, it just doesn't do the job that I need. I have to use so, so much of it to feel like my dishes are clean. I do not like to have dirty dishes. I usually hand wash some stuff even before I put it in the dishwasher. This was a pass for me. It smells nice, but it is not the best quality this i hope come they bring this back these were 99 cents and they had them in all different autumn scents so this was cozy autumn it was the first hand wash that smelt like actual cinnamon that didn't have the apple scent to it and they had one in sandalwood i know it looks like there's some left but it's so hard to get out these were 99 cents i love these soft soaps so i know they're not antibacterial but they're still pretty good soaps i love these for a dollar they're amazing and i hope they bring them back this year i really do um i used up an eye cream it took me quite a while to use it up and it is the juice beauty stem cellular anti-wrinkle eye cream i like this first of all i like the applicator i think it was really nice but what i liked about this was that um it didn't make my eyes burn or water so i might water why did i say that weird my eyes burn or water um i probably will repurchase this i don't know how pricey it was because i believe i don't know how i got this i really don't remember so i don't know the price of it but i'm working through i'm almost done with my ola hendrix brightening cream and i think i would rather have that over this um but you do get a lot of product you get 0.5 fluid ounces which i feel like is a lot it took me a long time to use this up so i might recommend it what i've been doing with my eye cream is I put it under my eyes, obviously, a little on my lids. I go right here on the corners, and then I've been doing my upper lip with it. I don't know why, but I kind of love it. If, I feel like if it's brightening, maybe it will brighten my upper lip because I do have a little bit of pigmentation on my lip. So I'll let you know if it works. Um, another brow stylus. I love these. They are amazing. So sad to see this go. I had to purchase a different kind. They didn't have this in store. This is the Maybelline. Um, shine free loose powder in 01 light it's cheap but it is good this is one of my favorite pressed powders it doesn't make me look cakey what i love about it is it never burns my eyes or makes my eyes itch i had to go with the fit me powder and i feel like that always kind of like just looks a little cakey it doesn't look too bad because i set it with a setting spray but before that it was a little cakey this is great i recommend this highly and it's five bucks at walmart I just didn't happen to buy it because they didn't have it in stock, I should say. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> so sad to see this go. It's the No Poor Blend Prime Essence in Touch and Soul, and it has Candula Flower Extract. This was a great primer. This was very silicone-y. I loved it. It took me forever to use it up. Sad to see it go. I don't remember where I got this. I love Touch and Soul. I have another primer from them that I really, really love. So I think I might look into repurchasing it. Definitely let me know what you think. Have you ever used their primers? They're really good. Very, very good. Okay, we are down to our last two products and that's it. Not too bad, right? 
So I picked this up on a whim. It's the Clinique ID Dramatically Different Hydrating Jelly. I picked this up about a year and a half ago, not last Christmas, but the Christmas before. And that's how long it took me to go through this. It's a little sticky. That's probably why it took me so long, but they're pretty affordable. I think it was 20 bucks. I probably would repurchase it if I found one that had a little more moisturizing, like a thicker moisturize. Let me know if you use this Clinique line, like what one you would recommend that isn't sticky. I did like it, wasn't bad. I just really like to go to sleep with a moisturized face. And last but not least, I have the Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow AHA Resurfacing Night Serum with Hydrating Honey and Gentle Flower Acids. This is great. This was really, really nice. And I definitely noticed more plumpness to my skin, but it burns. If you are not ready, and it it can be like a little shocking. It did burn. Um, if you have sensitive skin, definitely make sure you're not mixing anything you shouldn't when you use this. I don't know a lot about AHAs, but I did love this one. And I love the scent of it. And I definitely noticed that in the morning, my face seemed a little more plump. So I probably would repurchase this so that is all of this month's empties i don't know like is this august is it august and september i don't know but this is the end of today's video i hope you enjoyed this i would love you to stick around and subscribe i am almost to a thousand subscribers which is truly truly an amazing experience it has been fun getting to know all of you so definitely leave me a comment down below anything that you've been loving this month anything you would like me to check out and see and i would love to hear from you guys so i hope this uh, helps somebody and i will see all of you in my next video bye guys